Good morning. Welcome to my writer's life. Um, I'm sitting in the car on my way to work, on my way to teach my, my seniors, and I just wanted to jump on and talk about um, mental illness and writing. I touched upon this week depression, right? Depression and writing. But I, I want to share something super personal. So I would say maybe f over 15 years ago, I was diagnosed with ADD. I was trying to figure, I was in therapy, I was in psychotherapy, I was seeing a psychologist and I was seeing a psychiatrist. And I was tested. They give you this test, this this questionnaire to fill out to see like what levels of ADD you you possess. So this morning, well, actually not this, just this morning. Over the past few months, I've been thinking a lot about where I am after losing my brother and how I've I've been feeling a little unclear and finding it very difficult to stay with a single thing or complete certain things. And so I wanted to share that um, as a writer who struggles with managing her ADD and looking for things that, looking for methods and technique to, to find order and why this is why process is important for me, this is why ritual is important for me, this is why challenges are important for me. This is why pomodoros are important for me. Like these techniques are things that I use intentionally because I have ADD. And so when I set a timer for 25 minutes, it's, it's, a, it's a life or death thing for me because it's so important for me to feel like I've achieved these things and stayed with it because, you know, living with this ADD, it's hard sometimes when I have like five or ten or twenty thoughts at the same time like as I was writing this morning I found myself wanting to to text like three or four people you know or you know I'm writing about an idea so for those of you who struggle with any sort of like learn, learning disability or any kind of mental illness you know today I'm thinking about you I'm thinking about us and how amazing it is how proud we should feel when we do achieve something. I don't think people get it when we celebrate like little wins. And I don't know that a lot of people know how to support us, those writers, you know, who, who struggle. And so I see you, I feel you, and I'm with you. And today, I'm, I'm having a hard day. I'm having a hard writing day. I've been having hard writing days. And um, I'm not gonna cry on here because I promised myself I wouldn't. But um, it's challenging, you know. And I'm incredibly successful as a writer in terms of, you know, teaching writing and like I'm going to teach two classes right now and I have amazing opportunities, but that doesn't mean that I don't struggle. You know, so I share that to say that you're not alone and that there are ways that we can take care of ourselves. Like right now, one of the things that I was writing about is what I need and what I need is to quiet some of the noise to get really still to be alone and so I'm gonna figure out how I can do that you know with my schedule to to give myself a mini like retreat because I need to recap recalibrate you know and so yeah ADD and the writer that's today's title ADD and the writer you know people joke about having ADD they say they throw it like flippantly you know lightly Oh, you know, I have ADD, you have ADD. No, there are people who really do have ADD, and for them, the struggle is real. And so I ask that people be really mindful about how they use words like bipolar, like you're bipolar because, you know, you switch from, from moods. It's really cruel, and yeah, stop that. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Um, so here's our meditation. All of the things that are jumping through my mind right now are what I'd love to sit with for a longer period of time is 
breathing helps me because the techniques that really work for me are who I turn to when I'm feeling unclear is and my intention for today. My intention for today is to just be very loving to me. Very loving, very still. I wish that for me. I wish that for you. Have a beautiful day. Peace.